Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. What is up, friends? Good morning. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural and nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is always a healing system. It's always a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis without doctors, without drugs, without pharmacists, without insurance companies, without government intervention, and without Obamacare. It does it on its own. And while some folks may call that renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of your loved ones and your friends today. Let us help you get on a good nutritional supplement program, wean yourself off your prescription drugs, and begin to feel better today. Give us a call at 855-660-4261. We welcome your phone calls. If you have a success story, you want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is your number. If you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, 855-660-4261 is your number on the bright side. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, make yourself a little money selling longevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can make some money changing lives, changing lives for the better. You can make some money helping people feel better. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Offer a one-time $10 fee. They can give you the details. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and take a look at the, you can take a look at our shopping cart, or you can click on the join the team link on the bottom, on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com, just under the shopping cart. Okay, if you're interested in joining us on our weekly phone calls, myself and Dixie Sedgwick do uh, phone calls once a week on various health subjects. The dial-in number is 605-562-3140, participant access code 444-973-POUND. If you want to be notified of our YouTube videos, myself and health coach Amanda Rideout do YouTube videos once a week on skincare subjects. We cover some longevity products as well. We cover various, various miscellaneous health, health subjects. In addition to being mostly about skin, we're talking about acne, the seven different types of acne, unbeknownst to most people who have not heard me speak before, there's actually seven different types of acne. This is one of the reasons why most acne remedies, most acne treatments, most acne uh, prescription medication or over-the-counter medications really are very ineffective, even though they might be temporarily effective. Excuse me. They don't, they're not long-term. They, they're not effective in the long-term because you can't really address the biochemical breakdown that is occurring inside the body by using a cream or a potion or a lotion. That's the problem with most acne remedies. That's why acne remedies typically don't work, even though you may get some superficial appearance type benefits. In any case, we're uh, talking about the seven different types of acne, myself and Amanda. If you want to be notified when these YouTubes come out, send an email to ben at ksco.com and we'll put you on the list. Uh, We just finished up yesterday, two days ago, just finished up part two. Uh, part two, which is actually type one acne, so-called male hormone acne. And speaking of male hormone acne, we're talking zinc on the bright side. 
I love this mineral zinc. It's important for so many different things in the body, but not the least of which is its relevance and importance for skin. If you've ever used calamine lotion, you've explored the powers, the healing properties of zinc. Calamine lotion is largely made up of zinc, a special kind of zinc. Zinc silicate, if you must know, the kind for you uh, chemistry buffs out there. Zinc oxide is well known for being um, effective skin treatment for diaper rash, for burns, for uh, irritations of all kinds. And of course, zinc in the form of zinc oxide is tremendously, tremendously protective against the sun in a non-toxic fashion. Zinc oxide is so cool that not only does it protect you from the sun, it heals sunburn also. Anytime you have an ingredient that's going to heal your skin, in addition to protecting your skin, that's an ingredient you want. In fact, those are the only ingredients you want. This is my big beef with skincare. And as you guys know, I've been in the skincare business for many years as a formulator and as a clinician, working in the laboratory, working clinically with patients, doing all kinds of research. That's the thing about people in the skincare business. How many people who are making skincare products actually are in the laboratory making the skincare products? How many people who are selling you skincare products are actually lab rats or clinicians or academicians studying the ins and outs via academic research of how the skin works and what the skin is and how it interacts with the skincare ingredients. Not a lot of folks, certainly not a lot of folks with all three of those, uh, that cover all three of those bases. And that's why I feel like I'm uniquely situated in the world of skincare to be ticked off about skincare products in the skincare business. In any case, if your skincare product isn't going to heal a burn, that's probably a skincare product that you don't want to use, in my opinion. That's a, probably a skincare product that's only going to have a superficial effect, if any effect. On the other hand, if you have an ingredient that's going to heal your wounds, like zinc oxide or zinc, that's an ingredient that you want to look for. And in the case of zinc, you also get sun protection benefits. Zinc is also tremendously protective against liver poisoning. 30% 30 of Americans, a third of Americans are dealing with fatty liver disease. You can think of, uh, you can think of the liver as your security guard that permits or doesn't permit things to get into the blood. Once the liver starts to break down, things get into the blood and you're off to the disease races. Zinc is very protective against liver poisoning, liver toxicity. It can protect the liver from uh, the toxic burden of pharmaceutical drugs. We talked about this yesterday, how pharmaceutical drugs have toxic effects that aren't side effects. They're just the effects of the body's, of the body's uh, need to process and detoxify, to decontaminate itself from medicines, aside from the side effects. Those don't show up. The, the, the standard generic detoxification of a prescription drug that has to occur doesn't show up as a side effect or as an adverse effect, but it does show up as a load on your liver. Take zinc. Anybody on a prescription drug, in my opinion, is nuts if they're not using zinc, 50 milligrams a day. I think everybody's crazy if they're not using zinc, 50 milligrams a day. But certainly if you're abusing your body in any way with prescription drugs, with sugar, or anything else for that matter. Zinc's protective against uh, hepatitis C. If you have hepatitis C, the odds are pretty good you're deficient in zinc. That's according to an article that uh, was published in the Comprehensive Reviews of Food Science and Food Safety earlier this year. Hepatitis, hepatitis C and zinc deficiency go hand in hand. And that is not a surprise. If you know about zinc and you know about the liver and you know about hepatitis C and you know how powerful zinc is, not just for the liver but for the immune system, it makes a lot of sense that deficiencies in zinc would be associated with hepatitis C. And if you're diabetic or if you're pre-diabetic, and that, again, is huge, vast numbers of Americans, 100 million Americans are diabetic or pre-diabetic, one out of three, so if you're listening out there, chances are pretty good. That's you, diabetic or pre-diabetic. No, it doesn't matter what your doctor tells you about the scores. I hear people all the time saying things like, well, I had my blood tested and I'm not a diabetic, according to my doctor. Horse hockey, baloney, you can't go by those tests. Almost everybody past the age of 35 or 40 can assume that if they're not diabetic, they're pre-diabetic. If they're not diabetic, they're on the road to diabetes, and it doesn't matter what your blood tests say. So if you have hypoglycemia, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, you want to make sure you're leveraging zinc, 50 milligrams a day. You're taking advantage, exploiting the powers of this super, super, super mega important mineral, one of the most important minerals and nutrients in general for uh, sugar metabolism. Diabetes and whacked out blood sugar increase the rate at which zinc is used up. So if you're not supplementing with zinc or at least eating large amounts of zinc containing foods like seeds and, and meats and organ meats and, and uh, high protein foods, the chances are pretty darn good, nearly 100% that you're going to be deficient. 
You think that's important? You better believe it's important. Especially for the immune system, by the way. Especially if you're thinking about Ebola. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. in the upstate New York area. Hope to see you next Tuesday, October 21st, 7 p.m. at the Century Manor Grill House, 401 East State Street in Olean, New York, which is uh, about 90 minutes south of Buffalo. Um, as I did my research yesterday, because I'm going to be driving from Buffalo to Olean, New York next Tuesday. Looking forward to that. We're, uh, doing a health seminar for my friend Jonathan Smith, certified fitness trainer. Give him a call, 646-258-0148. Seating is limited. Uh, and it is starting to uh, fill up. So please give him a call if you're interested. If you're in the upstate New York area, Jonathan Smith, 646-258-0148. We're going to talk about Ebola and government control and uh, nutrition, of course, the eight chapters of good nutrition, lots of good stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to be staying there, so I'm going to be talking a long time. I'll stay there as long as uh, I'll be staying in the hotel, uh, the Century Manor Grill House. So I will be talking as long as, as long as you want me to talk. I will talk. And as long as you got questions, I will be there answering questions. So love to see you out there. That's next Tuesday, October 21st. Give Jonathan a call, 646-258-0148 for uh, RSVP. I think he's giving away some gifts. So uh, he wants to know how many people are going to be there, plus seating is limited. Uh, and we may need to have another room or more more seats. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but let them know if you're interested. That's going to be in only in New York next Tuesday, October the 21st. If you're in Tulsa, I will be doing a talk uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma on the 28th. That's, uh, mon that's the following Monday. And if you're in the Tulsa area, we'd love to see you there as well. Okay, let's see. Eight, uh, our number today, 855-660-4261. We'll get your calls here in just a minute. Bottom of the hour. I want to finish up a little bit talking about zinc, and then I want to talk about vitamin C. I've been getting all these crazy emails about vitamin C. This one nutcase, I shouldn't say that. I don't know who he is really, but he's sending me these emails that say, warning, vitamin C can be fatal. Warning, vitamin C. What the heck? Vitamin, vitamin C can be fatal? I don't know what the guy's talking about. Apparently... And it's always people selling something, but apparently it's never, never just hardcore science here when you hear about vitamin C and problems with vitamin C. The, 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 the latest scuttlebutt is that vitamin C, because it's manufactured and because it's separated from its cofactors that are found in plants, is somehow not good for you. Baloney. Baloney. All you got to do is look it up. And any bonehead who's trying to sell you something by giving you this nonsense about vitamin C not being a real vitamin, I don't know what the heck they're getting this idea from. Or they don't say vitamins. They say ascorbic acid is not vitamin C, which I explained why it is vitamin C yesterday. Uh, it's true that you always want to go foods, of course, and ascorbic acid is complexed with other factors in foods. Uh, bioflavonoids especially, and it's true food is always the best way to go, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get benefits, tremendous benefits from ascorbic acid. Go get a book called How to Live Longer and Feel Better by Dr. Linus Pauling, Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling, double Nobel Prize winner, one of the greatest biochemists who ever lived, who ever lived, and read what he says about vitamin C or about ascorbic acid. I'm sorry. The whole point of this, these crazy notes, this one website, the Healthy Back Institute, the guy who writes this doesn't even have the nerve to put who he is. Maybe he does somewhere. But uh, anyway, uh, the, the whole story is that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. It is vitamin C. It has all the effects of vitamin C, in, in essence. It's, and it's virtually non-toxic. I don't have any idea how anybody could think that this stuff is deadly, let alone even mildly toxic. If, you know, if you're out there listening to this program and you can clue me in on what this is about, how uh, vitamin C and ascorbic acid are, are, are somehow, or I should say how ascorbic acid somehow is toxic and problematic and doesn't have benefits. If you are out there listening and you're like, Ben, you're crazy. I want you to call me at 855-660-4261. Tell me where I'm off base here because I don't know where I'm off base. A, ascorbic acid without scurvy is by definition a element that eliminates scurvy, period. When they put uh, ascorbic acid in the blood in high doses, not only do you not, not get a toxic effect, it's completely non-toxic, and I mean high doses, 50 grams, five zero grams. That's a lot of vitamin C, it's 50,000 milligrams, 50,000. Anyway, we'll talk about that tomorrow, because we're going to talk about vitamin C tomorrow. And by the way, there's a very important Ebola connection to vitamin C, we'll tell you about that tomorrow too. Okay, moving on with zinc here. 
If you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, take zinc. If you have acne, take zinc. Taking zinc out of the diet of laboratory animals can initiate skin reactions. Zinc is one of the most important, if 